Greetings children. This is difficult MCQs from the third level. This is for class 12 CBC students. What we are going to learn from this video lesson is different variety of MCQs related with the lesson third level. Look at the first question. Directions for the question 1 and 2. In each of the questions given below, there are two statements marked as assertion A and the reason R. Mark your answer as per the codes provided below. Question number 1. Assertion. Charlie couldn't go back to the ticket counter again. Reason. He forgot the way to the third level. Out of these two statements, assertion and reason, four options are given here. You have to choose the right one. Look at the first one, A. Both A and R, which means assertion and reason, are true. And reason is the correct explanation of A. Is it so? No. Look at the Second one, both assertion and reason are true, but R is not the correct explanation of A. This is also not true. C, A is true, but R is false. Yes, this is the right option. Look at that. Charlie couldn't go back to the ticket counter again. This statement is true. And he forgot the way to the third level. Is this statement true? No. Not because of forgetfulness that he couldn't get back to the ticket counter. Because the third level existed only in his fancy. That's why he couldn't get back there. Let us check this second question. Assertion. Charlie couldn't go back to the ticket counter again. Same assertion is given and the reason third level is only a fantasy. So here both the statements are correct and second statement is the explanation of the first one. So A is the correct option. Both A and R are true and reason is the correct explanation of A. This is the reason by which he couldn't get back to the ticket counter of the third level. Look at the third question. Select the option that clearly indicates the situation before and after Charlie visited the third level. So, before and after Charlie visited third level. Look at the option A. Before. He shared the idea with his psychiatrist friend. Does it happen before he visited third level? No. So, no need of reading after. He explained it as a waking dream wish fulfillment. So, A is not the right options. Look at the D options. Before, his wife worried a lot. Did his wife worried a lot before he visited the third level? No. And after he looked for the third level. Look at third option. Before, his grandfather didn't want any refuge from reality. Did it happen before he visited the third level? No. All these reference came after he found out the third level. So, look at the after effect here. But he wanted to escape from the harsh realities of life. It is not because of after. Look at the fourth one, D. He once got into a tunnel and came out in the lobby of Roosevelt Hotel. Yes, this happened before he found out the third level. So, before incident is correct. Let us check the after incident also. He went back to his stamps. Yes, he went back to his stamp collection when he couldn't find the third level again. So, that happened after his visit to the third level. So, D is the a right option for this question. D is the right option. Let's move on to the next one. What is the relationship between 1 and 2? Statement 1. 
some as a city dweller always liked the sound of Galesburg. Second, Charlie suspected of his disappearance to Galesburg. The options are, two is the cause for one. Is it so? Two is the cause for one. Two is some is a city dweller always liked the sound of Galesburg. Charlie suspected of his disappearance to Galesburg. Is it the cause for? No. Second option. One repeats the situation described in two. Is it a repetition? No way. C. Two elaborates the problem described in one. Two elaborates the problem described in one. The problem is some as a city dollar always like the sound of Galesburg. Charlie suspected of his disappearance to Galesburg. Does it explain the first one? No. Look at the fourth one. One sets the stage for two. Some as a city dollar always like the sound of Galesburg. And that likeness of Galesburg, its silence, its sounds, that sets for Charlie's suspicion that he might be disappeared to Galesburg. So D is the right option for this question. The relationship between 1 and 2. So D is the right option. Look at the fifth question. Which quote summarizes the psychiatrist reference explanation about the waking dream wish fulfillment? Look at the first option. Dreams are not what you see in sleep. It is the thing which does not let you sleep. Does this match with a waking dream wish fulfillment? No. Waking dream wish fulfillment here means something that you wish to be like that. But the quotation given here doesn't match with the phrase waking dream wish fulfillment. Look at the second one. There are some people who live in a dream world and there are some who face reality and then there are those who turn one into the other. It may be. We can keep it there. Let us check the other two also. Dreams are not what you leave behind when morning comes. They are the stuff that fill your every living moment. Is this so? Does this match with the phrase waking dream wish fulfillment? No. So let us check the fourth one also. Our truest life is when we are in dreams awake. Our truest life is when we are in dreams awake. So dreams and reality is saying here. So this is somewhat matching with a waking dream wish fulfillment. So we can choose D as the right option, not B. Because there are some people who live in a dream world and there are some who face reality and then there are those who turn into the other. Question number six. Select the option that lists what we can conclude from the story, the third level. The main characters in the story feel insecure life. Is this statement true with the story, the third level? Yes, the main characters in the story feel insecure. Like uh, uh, Charlie, Sam and Charlie's wife. They are the three main characters. Three of them feel insecure in the story. The central characters want to go back to world of peace and serenity. Yes, a world of peace and serenity. That is the Galesburg, Illinois of 1893. Louisa extends her full support to Charlie with his claim of existing a third level at a Grand Central Station. Is it so? No. Sam Weiner was also a victim of modern insecure life. Yes, this is true. When the story ends, we learn that Sam Weiner, he went to Galesburg, Illinois. So, 
1, 2 and 4 are the right option. B is the right option. 1, 2 and 4 are the true statements. Look at question number 7. Based on your reading of the story, third level, select the appropriate counter argument to the given argument. You have to find a counter argument for the given argument. The given argument is this. He explained that modern world is full of insecurity, fear, war, worry and all the rest of it. And that I just want to escape. Assume that you are facing this argument. You have to give a counter argument for this one. Out of these four, which one will be the suitable counter argument? I think I have a fair chance of being real in my day-to-day -day life. Is it a counter argument for the argument given here? No. I have a real-time experience in visiting the third level where I met a trains running to Galesburg. Yes, this you can take as a counter argument. Let us check the other options also. I know that I am in a dream, but how can it be a waking dream? Is it a suitable counter argument for the argument given here? No. Grand Central has proven that there are three levels in it. This is also not a suitable argument. So, the right option is B. I have a real-time experience in visiting the third level where I met a trains running to Galesburg. When somebody argue that you had never visited the third level because of this and that you felt like that, then you counter-argue that I have a real-time experience in visiting third level where I met trains running to Galesburg. So, that is the right counter argument for the argument given here. Question number 8. Select the option that does not display the correct cause-effect relationship. Cause and effect relationship. Look at the first option. Cause. Hectic work in the office leads Charlie to feel bored. Yes, that is the cause. Effect, he wanted to get his house a little bit earlier. That is the effect and the cause. That is true. So, it doesn't display the cause and the effect relationship. Look at the second one. Cause, Charlie went to the newspaper boy. Yes, and the effect, he realized that he saw the same copy in the public library files. Yes, when he saw the world, the newspaper, and the lead news in it, he realized that he had seen the same page in the public library files. So, this is cause and effect, right? Look at this C1. Galesburg, Illinois is still a quiet, peaceful place. Effect. The First World War is still... 20 years off. Is it true? Is it the effect of this cause? No. Let us check the fourth one first. Charlie couldn't find the third level again. This is the cause effect. He continued searching it with his wife Louisa. Yes, later he continued the search for the third level with his wife Louisa. That effect is right. So, C is the right option. Because Galesburg, Illinois is still a quiet, peaceful place. This is the effect of the cause the First World War is still 20 years ago. So, this is the cause, not the effect. So, C is the right option here. Let us check the next question. Read the two statements given below and select the option that is suitably explains them. Two statements. One, Sam provided himself that he reached at Galesburg, Illinois. Probably this is only another of Charlie's waking dream wish fulfillment. Look at the options there. 
1 is the problem and 2 is the solution for 1. Is it the solution for 1? Probably this is only another of Charlie's waking dream wish fulfillment. Some provided himself that he reached at Galesburg, Illinois. Some proved himself that he reached at Galesburg, Illinois. Is this the problem? One is the problem and two is the solution. Solution. Probably this is only another of Charlie's waking dream wish fulfillment. Is this the uh, solution for the one? No. One is false but two correctly explains. One is not false. One summarizes two. Is it so? No. One is true and two is the reason for one. One is true. Sam proved himself that he reached at Galesburg, Illinois. And two is the reason for it. Probably this is only another of Charlie's waking dream wish fulfillment. And one is true and two is the reason for it. His reaching at Galesburg, Illinois is maybe another of Charlie's waking dreams. It can be. But what is the difference between A and D? Here A is saying that one is a problem. This is not a problem. This is only a true statement. And the reason for that is this one, the second one. This is Charlie's another waking dream wish fulfillment, maybe, probably. So D is the right option. Look at the last question, question number 10. Select the option that lists reasons why Charlie's wish has been called a waking dream wish fulfillment. The absence of security in life, maybe. He was happy in life. He was happy in life? No. He was unhappy in life. His inability to realize what is real and unreal? No. He was fed up with the present life? Maybe. He wished to lead a peaceful life? Yes. That is exactly correct. Now let us check the options 3 and 4. 3 and 4 are not the option. 4 and 5. Yes. 4 and 5 is right. 1 and 2? No. 2 and 4? No. So, out of these 4 options, B is the only right option. He was fed up with the present life. He wished to lead a peaceful life. So, 4th and 5th are the right explanation for waking dream wish fulfillment. This is the end of this module, you can expect more such interesting MCQs for your CBSE board examination. For that, you have to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching till the end.